when I started cooking, first when I started Indian accent, second and now in this three, I would say there's a lot of changes um, in terms of uh, uh, people's knowledge about food, in terms of availability of things, in terms of people's perception, in terms of culinary skills by the people, everything has changed or I would say not changed but evolved. People have become more adventurous, people are more, more knowledgeable, chefs are really more experimental, um, world has become a smaller place, um, your dish is reviewed then and there on social media, so yes, a lot of changes I would say. So you made fine dining a name in India even before you know the term fine dining was something which a lot of people associated with. Indian accent is also you know a format which has been replicated by many. Uh, how does it feel to you know continue being the per, you know the person who's you know who's associated with the progressive Indian dining today? See, see when when I was we were planning about Indian accent, I was there at London and when. London is one such place, London and New York, Melbourne, these are few places in the world is so cosmopolitan and each and every cuisine is represented in a perfect way and in a, sometimes in a unique way. And the type of Indian food was happening in London, nothing was that kind of a food. So I wanted to do modern, but not the London wala modern Indian food, but the thing is our own version of modern Indian food. So that is what I wanted to do and uh, that is what we did at Indian Accent 13 and a half years back. 13 and a half years is a long, long time. Um, even I, I laugh when I see my first menu that how much I have also evolved and how much I have also learned um, with the time and with my travels and experience. So it feels really great that people um, liked my work, liked our work, what we are doing at Indian Accent and uh, they feel um, that this can be replicated by people, it's okay and um, for the last 13 and a half years people are supporting us and we are here, we feel happy about it. I recently was uh, at an event where you know you were awarded the number one chef in India and I think the one thing which touched me the most when you spoke, when you spoke at the sta on the stage was how one as a mentor has to be someone who's giving, right? And it's the growth of the mentor itself. I, I mean, I'd love to know more about you from them. I mean, there was uh, Chef Himanshu Taneja who was also awarded an award. And uh, it's, it's funny how most of the people who were awarded were, you know, people who were your mentees. <laughs> see, see um, cooking is one such thing that uh, you cook, it's an art, and then you teach. Um, because if you don't pass on your knowledge to the next generation, that knowledge get lost. Um, and that is what happened with Indian Khana in the olden times. A lot of Ustad, a lot of Karigars and all, they haven't passed their talent. Unka honor jo tha, they haven't passed it to the next generation. And a lot of interesting, a lot of scientific, a lot of unique Indian things have been lost and that is very very important that you pass it on what is there in, 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 in your see it's, it's not a document or it's not a formula which is written and you are just giving a piece of paper it's the thing what you are thinking that thinking you have to give it so I always tell my chefs that you don't have to replicate my dishes the moment you start replicating the way I think, you don't need anyone. You are sky is the limit. Chef, we're living in a world today where restaurants are opening almost every week. What do you think makes or breaks a restaurant? I mean, you've, you've been here, you've seen it all. What do you think is that one thing which makes or breaks a restaurant? See, there is not one thing which makes or breaks a restaurant. There are two factors. One is internal factors, one is external factor. First, when you're opening a restaurant, you have to do some research and all these things about the restaurant, about the area, about all these yeah. things. There are exceptions all over the world, but 
exception always are not replicated so um, you have to work in such a way that suddenly you cannot open a, a a sashimi restaurant in a vegetarian dominant trade rest, uh, area so all these external factors if i keep it aside restaurant a good restaurant should have a very well thought of menu whichever cuisine it is the menu should cater to different palate palates of the local those who are coming there and it should be well balanced in such a way that uh, everybody gets their favorite into it and it doesn't mean that it should be elaborate it should be concise small but well executed and the right. consistency is a king that is very very required Absolutely. and hard work restaurant Absolutely. hard work <laughs> So, when you're deciding a menu for Indian accent, how do you decide? Like you, you made a dish for us today, which you've just introduced like three days back. How do you decide what to retain and what to let go of? So, it's it's very difficult um, now after 13 years to plan a menu for Indian accent, right? Because it is not difficult what to put. The biggest decision and a difficult decision is what to remove from the menu because after 13 years there were so many menu changes that all the star dishes are there on the menu and it becomes really difficult what to take it out um, so that is what we we try that sometimes we really compare um, that what to go what to come out but we keep on experimenting with our tasting menu lastly but uh, i think the most pertinent thing how would you define modern indian cuisine <laughs> that's that's a that's a question which even i am looking for the answer uh, there is no perfect answer what do you mean by modern indian food um so i would say whatever food we are doing is anyone it's everybody is doing modern indian food uh, because uh, even if you are serving butter chicken with little bit of tweaks here and there then maybe it's a modern indian because it's a new generation right. kind of a thing but the thing is we have so much of history so much of culture so much of tradition and repertoire of recipes that we just have to polish it a little bit little bit dust jhaad karke just present it in a nice way that's a modern indian dish for me